That was an exceptional lap. How did it feel? Thank you. No, it it, it did feel um, fantastic. I mean, this is just it's also it's the the, the heat of the moment is so much more intense than it was before. I guess because. You know, before it was against your teammate, but now we're up against another team. They've won the previous race. Positioning is really important for the start. And uh, it was, they were quickest through Q1 and Q2, so I don't even know if I can get pole, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's the closest to perfection of a lap that I can get, and it really, really was. We knew it would be close. Um, also in Australia, we looked very good, and then Mercedes seemed very strong in the last qualifying. I don't know, they claim not to turn up the engine between Q2 and Q3, but... I don't know, we have to look at the, the speed traces, um, but they're very strong in qualifying trim, we know that. But it's good, I think it was a good session, we are you know, reasonably close, hopefully next race we can be even a bit closer, but uh, for now we look forward to tomorrow. One one thousandth of a second equates to 5.9 centimetres, which with my bad maths is one one hundred thousandth of the total length of the lap. Either way, it's not a lot, is it? Thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's, it's a small margin, smaller than last time, uh, so uh, yeah, it's a shame one of the Ferraris got between us, but again, the main day is tomorrow and um, I think it was better goal from, from from my side than what I had in Melbourne, so that is that is positive, but still have things to work on, but yeah, move on to tomorrow and uh, see what we, get, we can do with Ferrari tomorrow. You know, I think typically we've had a pretty good car in the wet in the past, but I think at the moment, you know why Mercedes and Ferrari are so strong I believe is is they've just got more load more downforce in the car and that's normally why we've been quick in the wet is because we got normally good downforce so I expect them to still be quick in these conditions you know I I don't I don't want to be naive and say yeah we'll be as quick as them in the wet but uh you know through some opportunities maybe some mistakes if, if the intensity rises at the front then I can uh do this but until then don't do that too much man you got to hold the steering wheel oh uh, it's okay it's all right. Small steering wheel. Yeah, I got small hands. I think it's all right. <laughs> the Williams has looked quick all weekend. How happy are you with your performance today? Yeah, I think it was a good performance today. So managed to get um, uh, Hulkenberg at the end. Uh, so it was a good lap. I did definitely uh, not so easy. Uh, Red Bull definitely they had a little bit more fuel this morning, so they were half second in front. But I think I'm starting the best position I could. So I'm really happy with the qualifying, happy with the position, and uh, really looking forward that tomorrow we can uh, score again, good points. Jumped in the car this morning, you know, felt all right. Uh, balance was straight away pretty decent. The grip was all right. So um, yeah, feel quite a bit more happy compared to Melbourne with uh, where the car is. Um, I think we managed to improve again a bit for qualifying and obviously a nice surprise and quite positive day. Those two sets in Q1, uh, I only had one go at it versus two, and uh, I just really went for it, and it wasn't uh, it wasn't a good lap. But uh, you know, my goal was to get into Q3. Tomorrow's a long race ahead, so you know, even though uh, Q3 uh, wasn't as good as, as as I think it could have been, I'm still very happy with the overall qualifying. How many risks are you having to take to, to get out such a strong Q2 performance? Yeah, all the all the risks that uh, are available out there. You know, there is nothing to lose for us. You know, if we have a spin if we are um, you know in the grass for one moment you know we we abort the lap and uh, we we seem not to lose too much because the expectations before qualifying were very pessimistic we were uncompetitive in fp3 and uh, we thought that q1 was uh, our maximum target but uh, yeah surprise surprise we are 13 and now we need to to take this uh, this position and hopefully take any opportunity tomorrow for a rookie how difficult are these cars how easily do they go away on you uh, yeah, it's quite difficult. I think the problem was uh, I, I touched a little bit the grass, was a little bit wet with the rear tire, so I, I lost straight away the, the rear. But until there was a good qualifier, you know, we were in Q2, uh, I was improving my lap time, and uh, then, yeah, the mistake, but uh, I want to say sorry to the team, to the guys, and, um, and, uh, and I hope tomorrow the car is fine, and I hope tomorrow we can show a good result. Something was, was not right, misfiring, a strange noise and losing power so I couldn't use the, the quality power so which is basically like a safe mode uh, power I was running in which is very slow uh, but we just tried to do at least one lap you know maybe it was good enough for, for Q2 but yeah it's uh, it's of course unfortunate uh, that this happened but tomorrow it's yeah likely that it's gonna rain so that will that will help a bit to pass some cars.